Okay, um, we want to use our JavaScript. Right now, we're, we, this thing uh, is kind of like a stack of code in Scratch. You've got things that you want to do. It's kind of like using the pen tool a little bit. Um, these are like a block. It's like a single stack of blocks. So they fire one right after the other, all in line. They complete. Game over. There's nothing else running. Uh, in order to have it sort of play like a game, uh, like in Scratch, you always need some sort of a loop or a forever loop, um, a, a repeat until loop. Uh, and we're going to do the same sort of thing. So we're going to actually create uh, an object which itself is a loop. So um, I'm going to say var. And that's, again, to declare something in memory. So I want the computer to remember what I'm talking about when I refer to as um, number loop 1. I don't know why I'm calling it that, but whatever. I'll just call it number loop. And this will be a loop. And the way we dis define them is with this um, set interval function. Set interval requires two things. Uh, in the first spot, well, actually in the second spot, it wants to know how many milliseconds should pass in between every firing of the loop. So it'll do th things that you put here after the number of milliseconds that you put here, and it'll keep doing it until you tell it to stop. Um, so I'm going to say I want this to fire every, mm, let's say, uh, quarter of a second. So. A thousand would be a second if it's milliseconds. So 250 milliseconds is a 0.25 or a quarter of a. Just move the decimal place three, and uh, that'll give you your number of seconds. Um, in here, you need to type a generic function. So it'll be a function with parameters, and the block of code goes in the curly brackets. So you go in there, press enter. And uh, here's where you put the code, like, kind of like the stacks of blocks that would go in the forever loop. You put in here, and those will get fired over and over again. Um, what we want to be able to do is create a little timer that um, uh, controls everything. So I'm going to declare a timer before I do the loop. Var number timer equals... I don't know how many milliseconds. Maybe we'll say 250, or maybe 3,000. Or no, I, I, if we're going to go, I don't know what we'll call this. <laughs> uh, we'll call it 30, I guess. Um, we'll see if that works. Uh, so, so 30 pass-throughs, uh, 30 quarters of a second. Um, so yeah, a quarter times 30 uh, would tell you how many seconds. Um, so that's our timer. It starts at 30. When the function begins, and this end loop, it starts looping. It starts running something over and over again. Um, we want it to write that onto the screen. Um, or you know what? Not instead of write it to the screen we are going to do all these things that we just did. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to clear the screen, make it all red. We're going, and maybe I'll say that even. You can make a comment with two slashes, and this is just a little note to yourself. Make the screen red. Okay, um, I should also say, and clear the screen. So it erases everything. It overrides everything. Um, the next bit should be um, write the big number. So we did that. And then the next thing should be um, draw the bar, draw the timer bar. And that was the last thing that we did. Um, so why would we do that once and then every half second do it all again? Well, because the timer bar's length will depend on um, this length here. It will be 160 times 
um, the, the timer basically as the timer goes it multiplies by 160 by increasingly small fractions shrinking the number until it's uh, below zero so what we'll say is we're going to multiply 160 by um, I guess how many we said 30 minus n timer so when the the timer starts um, actually it should be uh, it should just be n timer over 30 um, that way when n timer starts it's at 30 and so you're really just multiplying by 1 so it'll be 160 but as n timer as we go forward in the loop every time we run this loop we're gonna run it but then we're going to say n timer um, minus minus and that tells it to go down one tick so instead of 30 it'll now be 29 and instead of 1 times 160 the next time around it'll be a, a fraction slightly smaller than 1 so it's gonna shrink uh, let's see what that looks like I'm gonna save it and now we have a timer 